After 26.2 miles, Ohioan Gwen Neal was in the athlete recovery area on the phone with her husband when the first explosion rocked the Boston Marathon finish line. It got very quiet. Everyone stopped. It was like um, everyone was just frozen all around. And you could see the smoke. Regular people don't know what bombs sound like, really. I mean, we watch movies, but, um, you know, the general public has never been faced with that. And then the second bomb. We definitely felt it, like, when it went off. It just, it just shook you. Like, it shook everything in that part of the city. It just, I can't even explain it. Like, it, it reverberated from your heart almost. Um in your ear. Phones went down, but Neil eventually met up with her husband. They were quickly ushered into a nearby building. It, it, it was chaos. People were running. Um, there were cars just bumper to bumper, like trying to get out, and you could tell that they were very panicked. Now, Neil and her husband sit in their hotel room, just above the finish line, so far unable to leave and still coping with images of what started out as a triumphant day. And I would absolutely consider coming back next year because I'm already qualified for it now. Just to, just to make my point that they, I will not be scared into not doing something that means something to me.